Hi, I'm back. Today I'm going to be talking about a book called Girl in Disguise uh, by Greer McAllister. It is a fictional memoir of the first ever female detective in the Pinkerton Detective Agency. The Pinkerton Detectives were like a private detective company. It was one of the first ones in the United States. It was started by Alan Pinkerton after he left the police force. He decided he could do a better job as a private citizen investigating cases for um, specific clients. And uh, Pinkertons have I don't know, like, I think there's a kind of a connotation that goes with the name Pinkertons, especially if you grew up watching the movie musical Newsies starring Christian Bale, um, wherein the Pinkertons were not good people. Uh, but in reality, they, uh, you know, worked for people who hired them. A lot of times that was the railroad uh, companies and they, their operatives usually went undercover to investigate um, cases of embezzlement and fraud and uh, things like that. So Girl in Disguise is about Kate Warren, who was the first female detective for the agency. She uh, was a widow. She was forced to marry a man that she didn't love, and fortunately for her, he did not uh, live very long after they were married. In order to, you know, pay her bills and stuff, she answered an ad for um, operatives and detectives for the Pinkerton Agency and she was able to prove herself to Alan Pinkerton and became his first female operative. The book itself was a little different than I thought it would be. I thought it would kind of um, follow a main plot, like a big case that she would work on maybe to prove herself. Uh, instead, it follows a lot of kind of smaller cases that she worked on uh, that kind of um, illustrate how she grew better at her job and gained um, respect from her fellow agents or didn't gain respect from her fellow agents and um, different uh, people that she met along the way that kind of had to do more with um, a larger portion kind of in the second half of the book. So she goes undercover, she pretends to be um, like a woman of the night and a you know respectable housewife or a widow and like worms her way into people's good graces and she um, learns how to use her detective skills to solve crimes and things like that. So that was really cool. The second half of the story um, was a little more exciting. One of her cases at the in the first half of the book, she meets a um, a young lawyer whose name is Lincoln and. Um, and he shows up again in the second half of the book because he has been elected president. So um, yeah, it's Abraham Lincoln. And she is instrumental in um, saving him from an assassination plot on his way to be inaugurated in DC, which was really, really cool. Uh, and then uh, after several years when the, um, when the Civil War breaks out, she goes undercover as a spy to try to find out who is um, giving away information to the Confederates. It was different than I expected it to be. I've kind of forgot from when I picked up the book to when I was reading it that it was based on someone's real life so the the plotting was a little different than it would be if it was just a fictional character that the author could kind of do whatever they wanted with. Greer McAllister had to kind of follow things that actually happened in Kate Warren's life. And um, it's kind of amazing the things that she did and the dedication uh, you know, that she had to to have to this job. She, you know, couldn't get married and settle down and she didn't want to. She was too good at her job and she enjoyed it too much, which I really admired. She did have to overcome um, and deal with a lot of hardship, though, uh, which sucked. I felt, about, felt really bad for her at several times, uh, several points in the book. She was definitely a fascinating character to learn more about and I liked it. If you like kind of historical fiction based on real people, if you like detective stories, then you're really gonna like this one. That is Girl in Disguise by Greer McAllister. That's gonna be it for me. Make sure you like this video on YouTube, comment below if you've read this book or anything like it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video wherever you share YouTube videos. Okay? Bye! So the Pinker Det- Okay, which was started by Alan Pinkerton uh, after he left the um, police force thing. This